Hey everyone and welcome back. So it's been a while since I've actually done a news uh, update. I think I did a minor one maybe like two weeks ago or something, but definitely a lot to jump into, especially with some new announcements, including the November titles uh, from Arrow, as well as some new Screen Factory announcements. And But before I get to both of those, um, I do want to cover uh, just a couple of them real quick. So first up, for you classic film fans like I am, uh, coming November 8th, uh, we finally got the, at least the U.S. announcement. I think the U.K. one actually came out several weeks ago, uh, or maybe about a month ago now, but we are getting a 4K release of Casablanca. Don't have any details yet as far as what's on. I assume it's probably going to mirror uh, probably what was on uh, the uh, Blu-ray release from before. But I'm so happy that's finally getting a 4K release. Love that film so much, so it should look great in 4K. So next up, uh, Studio Canal in the UK is coming out with a 4K edition of Highlander, slated for October 31st. Uh, it is going to have a couple of special features. Obviously, has a uh, looks like it's porting over um, some previous stuff, including some uh, commentary tracks. But it does have a new couple of new uh, featurettes and interviews, including the immortal attraction of Highlander, looking back at four decades of Highlander magic, a kind of magic music of the immortals, a featurette of the soundtrack. There can only be one Kurgan. Clancy Brown remembers. Highlander, capturing immortality, an interview with photographer David Jones, as well as a new audio commentary with author John Melville. Again, this is a UK release, but it does say that uh, there actually will be a uh, release in the United States from Lionsgate uh, later this year, just no details yet, but I assume pr it'll probably mirror, uh, like the extras I assume will probably mirror this one. And a title that used to be with Lionsgate, but is now luckily with Paramount, because we are actually getting a new release, and that is The Running Man, that is coming, um, November 8th and it's going to have a 4k release now it has been out in 4k for about a year now in uh it's a German release because I got it not too long ago and that's a great looking release so if it's the same transfer it'll actually look really good now no details as far as extras but I assume it'll probably I uh, more or less uh mimic probably the uh pre-existing blu-ray that Lionsgate has had for out for several years I assume or they'll have no extras I don't know I'm waiting on details on this one but for those who've been waiting on it we are finally getting it uh here in the states again that is coming November 8th. Now, I do have a couple of special announcements of stuff that's in the works. I'll get to those actually at the end of the video because they're kind of exciting if we're going to end on a high point because some of these other things might be a little mixed. I mean, they're like, they're good, but you know. Anyway, so let's get the Arrow titles for November 1st. So first up, uh, probably the most exciting one is definitely uh, the Volume 2 of the Shaw Scope. Now, that did get previously announced uh, like a week or two ago. That is going to be a US, uh, UK, and Canada release. One of the few this time around actually and he's gonna have 14 films including nine new 2k restorations an illustrated 60 page uh book as well as a bunch of new special features and two cds of music from the dewolf music library is heard in several of the films exclusive to this collection which is very very cool all right let's see if i can name these films uh easily so it's going to have the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Return to the 36th Chamber, uh, Disciples of the 36th Chamber, Mad Monkey Kung Fu, Five Sur Super Fighters, Invincible Shaolin, The Kid with the Golden Arm, Magnificent Ruffians, Ten Tigers of Kwangtung, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, My Young Auntie, Mercenaries from Hong Kong, The Boxer's Omen, Martial Arts of Shaolin, the Barefooted Kid, and, oh, is that all 14? I think that's all 14, and then there's the music. So that is slated for uh, November 22nd. So there are two more titles that are US, UK, and Canada, and the next one is Incredible But True, but that's coming, uh, they'll have a Blu-ray release, and it has a, uh, let's see, 5.1, Serial Track, Cast and Director Interviews, Upside Down, Inside Out, Appreciation of the Films of Quentin Dupio, is that how you pronounce his name, Dupio? Because I think he's French, so it's like I'm. I don't know if you guys are familiar with his uh, movies. Definitely let me know. I'm not familiar with them. But again, this is a Blu-ray release, and it is scheduled for uh, November eighth or eighteenth. Eighth. Probably put my glasses on for some of these. As the text is so small. And then the other one that is also coming to uh, the U.S., U.K., and Canada is the movie Audrey Rose. Now that had been put out on Blu-ray, at least here in the States, once before, but I think by Twilight Time, which obviously has been out of print for a very long time. And it is getting a new uh, 2K restoration by Arrow from from a 4K scan of the original negative. Has a new audio commentary by film critic John Tolson. Faith and Fraud, a brand new interview with magician Adam
Adam Cardone about reincarnation and belief in Audrey Rose. Then and now, a brand new feature at looking at the New York locations. I've been here before, an archived visual essay by Lee Gambin looking at reincarnation in cinema. Investigator, the paranormal world of Frank DeFelita, an archive interview with the author and scriptwriter of Audrey Rose. The role of mother, an archive interview with Marsha Mason. Hypnotist inside the score of Audrey Rose, an archive interview with film music historian Daniel Schweiger. So as the trailer and an image gallery and that is slated for November 8th as well. And then the other two titles uh, for the month of November from Arrow are UK only but uh, they are 4k releases so you can import them depending on no matter where you are. First one which is an interesting choice is actually a 4k release of the Wolf of Wall Street um now which I was not expecting because I know I believe Paramount put that out on in 4k at least here in the states but maybe it hadn't been in the UK yet and I was getting this sort of like kind of cool packaging actually it looks like a giant wallet and it comes with a couple extra kind of fun bits it looks like and I have a uh, 60 page book containing new write-ups on the film it does have a new audio commentary track by film critics Glenn Kenny and Nick Pickerson Dickerson. Brand new introduction by the film by historian Ian Christie, editor of Scorsese on Scorsese. Brand new interview with screenwriter Terrence Winter. Brand new interview with production designer Bob Shaw. Wall Street After Hours, a brand new visual essay by film critic Simon Ward on the dark humor of Martin Scorsese. Planet Holly Wolf, a brand new visual essay by film critics Maddie Butterywitz and Dave Wayne on Jordan Belford's lesser known career as a low budget movie producer. Did not know that. The Wolf Pack, an archival featurette exploring Martin Scorsese take on the story. Running Wild an archival featurette taking a closer look at the filmmaking process and key creative team. The Wolf of Wall Street Roundtable an archival featurette with director Martin Scorsese, Roger Terrence Winter and stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill in conversation. So it's behind the scenes documentary footage shot during filming, TV spots and an image gallery. So that's actually quite packed because I think I know here in the States I think the uh not really too much on the 4k release we got here from Paramount. And the other big 4k release coming in November is Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Now this is uh, kind of been rumored for a while because it's a Morgan Creek film. Now here in the States Warner Brothers I believe still owns the rights. Um, now is it possible we could get this uh, in 4k down the line either from Warner Brothers or from Arrow you know kind of like with True Romance um, which kind of happened there where it got released in the UK first and then the following year you got it here in the States. Uh, don't know. Not really sure on that one. It's possible Warner Brothers may actually hold on to Robin Hood, so I don't know. So depending on where you live, you may have to import it, at least for now. If you're interested, I mean, I actually, I'm, I'm a fan of the film, so I'm looking forward to picking it up. So real quick, it's got a brand new 4K restoration of both the theatrical as well as the extended cut of the film from the original negative. It's obviously in one of their limited edition packaging. A 60-page bound illustrated collector's booklet. Plus it comes with a folder as well as some art cards. has a 5.1 and a stereo uh, audio options. Interesting that there's no Dolby Atmos, but that's okay. Audio commentary with director Kevin Reynolds and actor Kevin Costner. A commentary with actors Morgan Freeman and Christian Slater and writers, producers Penn Densham and John Watson. Here We Are Kings, Making Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, a brand new multi-part documentary featuring brand new interviews with Densham, Watson, director of photography Douglas Milsom, or Milsom, editor Peter Boyle, costume designer John Bloomfield, and many more members of the creative team. Robin Hood, The Myth, The Man, The Movie, an archival 1991 documentary hosted by Pierce Brosnan. One-on-one -on -one with the cast, archival 1991 interviews with the cast. Brian Adams, Everything I Do, I Do It For You performance at Slane Castle, Ireland. That's interesting. So I don't think that's the music video. I think it's just a performance. Um, I kind of wish the music video was actually on here. I kind of like it. Music, soundtrack, cues, theatrical trailer, TV spots, and an image gallery. Now, there are actually a couple different versions uh, of this that they've done with some of their other bigger releases as well. So it has their limited edition in both a 4K version and a Blu-ray uh, version, so you do have to be mindful of that. I believe the Blu-ray is Region B. And there's also going to be a Zavi exclusive steelbook option. So uh, one version is basically just a steelbook of the uh, 4K, but it comes with a 4K and a Blu-ray. And then the other one is actually going to be the deluxe version, but um, with a steelbook that also has the 4K and the steel and the Blu-ray as well. And again, that is a Zavi exclusive. And that is it for the uh, Arrow titles for November. So an interesting mix, uh, but obviously nothing really horror related or anything there. So I don't know. We 
have to see what uh, December holds next month. And now we get to the Scream Factory title. So we have two new uh, Scream Factory, or Shout Factory technically, uh, website exclusive titles. I believe they're both part of the Roger Corman library. So first up is the Stuart Gordon film Space Truckers, and that is uh, finally getting a Blu-ray release, sort of long overdue. It's going to have a new interview with uh, Barbara Crampton. Space Trucking with Stuart Gordon, an interview with director Stuart Gordon. Scoring Space Truckers, an interview with composer Colin Towns. The Art of Space Truckers, an interview with art director Simon Lamont as well as the trailer now this is region a locked I believe and again this is a website exclusive unfortunately they do not ship internationally at least which is kind of a shame I don't know why they don't and the other website exclusive is a double feature actually it's the movie strip to kill as well as final judgment again also region a and strip to kill will have an audio commentary with director Kat Shea or Shea Kat Shea Shea not sure how to pronounce the last name. And Star K Lens. A bonus audio commentary with director Kat Shea Shea. An on-camera interview with Kat Shea Shea. <laughs> One or the other. And Roger Corman, as well as the original trailer. Now, nothing here about a new uh, transfer. Now, Strip to Kill was actually put out on Blu-ray before by, I think, Code Red. So maybe it has. it's using the same uh, HD master. I'm not sure. But nothing here about a new transfer. But Final Judgment, which is a film I'm not even familiar with, but it stars Brad Dorf, uh, does not have any extras, but it does have a new 2K scan from the original camera negative. Above those are up for sale right now on the Shot Factory website. And we also have details on the two upcoming uh, 4K releases of Army of Darkness and Return of the Living Dead. So first up, Army of Darkness, which is due out October 4th. It's kind of a mixed bag. It's actually um, kind of like Life Force, where uh, unfortunately only one cut of the film is actually going to be in 4K, while the rest of the cuts are going to be, I believe, just sort of the same Blu-ray releases that were already released. And I don't think there's any new extras or anything. It looks like it's basically the same release um, as before, with the exception of the theatrical cut, which will have a new 4K uh, transfer, but the director's cut, the international cut, I think it's, they're basically the same as uh, that was on their previous Blu-ray release, and it will, and it will also have the um, television version, but that obviously will be in standard definition only. So as far as the new transfer goes, it has a new uh, 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative, approved by director Sam Raimi and director of photography Bill Pope and editor Bob Murawski. Will be in Dolby Vision, and will have a uh, 5.1 mix as well as the original stereo mix. Now, unfortunately, there's no Dolby Atmos mix, actually. It's kind of hoping for that because Armory of Darkness has a really great uh, sound design, and I think it's one that actually would lend itself to uh, actually have a fun Dolby uh, Atmos mix. And the included Blu ray of the theatrical cut will also have the new transfer as well. But as far as I can tell, I believe all the extras are the same. I don't think it has actually any new extras. So, uh, you know, good news, bad news. And now, Personally, I actually have to admit that the theatrical cut probably is my favorite. It is the one I tend to lean towards the most. So I'm excited to see it in 4K. It actually should look pretty great in 4K because it was actually shot in a really nice uh, 35 millimeter film stock. So it actually should look pretty great, but it is a bummer that at the very least the director's cut is not in 4K. I'm not really sure why it isn't. I mean, maybe it's a rights issues. I don't know, but yeah, kind of a bummer there. But I am excited to see at least the theatrical cut in 4K. And then we have the details uh, for Return of the Living Dead, the upcoming 4K release. Now, uh, this is pretty much actually what I was expecting for this one, which looks like it ports over all of the extras from their previous Blu-ray release. Um, and we'll have also an extra Blu-ray of bonus features, which is great because that thing was loaded, <laughs> you know. So it looks like it ports over everything, and then including the work print cut um, in standard definition, obviously, because that I think it's only taken from. Uh, I think the only available source is a VHS tape from the time. But even as like the More Brains uh, documentary, which is a great documentary, it's just all kinds of stuff. It so it's three discs. Uh, two Blu-rays and then the 4K disc. And it does have a new, so it is a new 2022 4K scan of the original camera negative in Dolby Vision and it will have the 5.1 and uh, stereo mix and the included Blu-ray will also have uh, the new transfer on it. Now this one I wasn't really expecting anything new. I mean it's, I'm just, I'm happy it does include the original um, audio track. Now as they previously mentioned there is, there is still one song that they were not able to get secure the rights too, which I still don't understand why whoever owns the rights to that song, I don't know if it's a record company or the music producer, whomever, I don't think it's the group, I think it's actually 
somebody else. Why they're not letting the song be in this, you know, be here is like kind of stupid. So uh, this is not something that uh, Screen Factory, you know, this is not their fault. They tried to get the rights. So it's a shame it won't be there, but I am super excited to see this in 4K. I think it looks, should look pretty great. Even watching like their uh, previous Blu-ray, um, you know, last month, like it looked great. So I can only imagine what this new transfer is going to be in 4K. And again, that is due out October 18th. Now, I know it's a little bit of a mixed bag for some of this stuff, but I definitely want to end it on a high note um, is that we don't, obviously it's too early, don't have release dates or anything or even super details, uh, super details, any details on these, but uh, they have been at least announced. So we got two full chief films as well as sort of a infamous film. So Grindhouse Releasing has is actually working on their first uh, 4K releases and the, um, it's, there is going to be a 4K release of Cannibal Holocaust that is in the works. Now, again, no details yet. I assume it's be sometime next year. For those of you in the UK, I believe 88 Films is also working on a 4K release of Cannibal Holocaust. Now, we don't know whether or not it's going to be the same transfer or what's going on there. I don't know. But it is nice to know that, uh, at least here in the States, uh, Grindhouse Releasing is working on it. And as far as I know, it's also being uh, taken from the original camera negative. And their other 4K release is long overdue, is Lucio Fulci's The Beyond which is needed a new transfer because even their previous blu-ray release um still had to utilize an old uh transfer for that so this is the first time it's getting a new transfer in like a really long time and it is from the original camera negative get no details yet most likely sometime next year but i'm so happy that is in the works and then if that wasn't great enough cauldron films is putting out or is in the works uh putting out lucio fulci's city of the living dead aka the gates of hell in a 4k release i am so excited for that as well you know it's, it's like oh more more full chain 4k it's like it's just that makes me so happy again no details again a lot of these were probably like a year out but i'm just so happy that they are indeed in the works so that's it for this news update i think there's a lot here there's a lot more i need to get to but i definitely wanted to cover these up for today so let me know your thoughts on these and if you have any questions i will try and answer them as best i can and as always thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one